Yo guys, what is up? Split here back with a new video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream to sites such as Twitch and YouTube Gaming. Now I did do a recording video a while back and I'll take that video on the screen right now if you're interested that is. But basically we're going to be using the same program to live stream so some processes will be similar in a way. And uh, yes, also guys, I do really apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I did start school again, but I'm trying my best to at least upload once a week, possibly even twice a week. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them down below and your comment might get featured on my next video. Also guys, be sure to check out G2A.com with the link down below in the description. G2A provides dirt cheap CD keys for all games across all platforms imaginable, so be sure to check them out. Alright, so what you want to do first is download a program called OBS. I'll leave the link down below in the description. It works for Windows 7, 8, and 10, so that's pretty good. After that, what you want to do is go to obsproject.com slash estimator. Once you're here, just answer every question that you see here. Um, I'm just going to leave this at high motion for FPS and stuff like that. You can also do it for a side scroller. Um, just make sure you put your CPU and GPU, etc. And now I want to know your internet speed. So basically what you want to do is go to speedtest.net. Once you're here, you want to go to settings. And with the speed measurement, make sure it's on kilobits. We're going to hit save. We're going to go to speedtest.net. Just back to the website here. And we're going to click on begin test. Um, this will start... Um, you know, getting uh, testing your internet speed. Uh, we want to focus our attention to the upload speed, especially because that is what we're going to be needing to input into OBS. All right, there you go. Now it shows your upload speed. It should be in kilobits per second, so just get the upload speed and just put it in here, 5,004. Um, I'm going to stream in 1080p. I'm going to hit recommended settings and it should give you your recommended settings as you can see. Basically you now want to open up OBS, should some, look something like this. Um, what I would do just first is just lower this right here, this is your game volume, so you're going to lower that. And go to settings, and then we're going to go to encoding here. Make sure um, this is checked, that's checked, make sure this is checked as well. We're going to change the max bitrate to 3500, and 3500, well I'm going to change it to that. You should change it to wherever it says right here. And then make sure audio is on 128 and everything is like that. We're going to go to broadcast setting, hit yes. And now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, uh, stream to Twitch first. So we're going to go to Twitch right here. For the URL, make sure to select somewhere that is really close to you. And you want to go to f to find your stream key. Basically, you go to Twitch, um, your Twitch TV. Uh, make sure you make account to go to um, dashboard. And then go to stream key. And this is how you're gonna get your stream key. Show key. I understand. And I'm going to blur this out because you don't want to give this to anyone. But um, just put that in like that. We're gonna hit optimize. Hit OK. Hit apply, and that should be good. We'll move on to video. You can downscale your resolution if you can't really stream at the highest resolution that you're capable of. So you can put it to 720p. I'm just gonna leave it at 1080p here. Right here. Um, you can also put this to 60 FPS if you want, but um, if your computer can handle it, that is. Go to audio, select your default microphone um, or mic, so I'm just like that. Make sure that is on default, and we're going to go to, we're pretty much sure we're done, so we're going to hit apply and hit OK. Now, where this scene, make sure that it's selected, and where's the source box, we're going to hit right click on it, add game capture. Now, make sure whatever your game you're trying to stream is already running in the background, so we're going to hit OK. And this should pop up. We're going to go to application and look for the game um, that you want to, um, you know, stream. Stream Minecraft. And there it is. So I'm going to select that. Select stretched image to screen. We're going to hit OK. And now we can pretty much pull up our game. Make sure you do that. And then preview stream. And there we go. You can preview your stream. That means everything is pretty much good to go. Um, we're going to hit stop preview and just click on start streaming. Now if we go to my Twitch channel. Um, which is that and there you go you're live you're live streaming so that's pretty much how you do it on twitch let's move over on how to do it with um, YouTube gaming so I'm gonna stop streaming go to the um, you want to go to youtube.com slash live underscore dashboard once you're here um, make sure you put gaming as your category put whatever game you're trying to play or stream and where it says the stream name or key click on reveal copy that go to settings on your OBS, go to video, I mean sorry, broadcast settings, and you want to change the streaming service to YouTube Gaming, 
pasting the new thing, hit apply, hit OK, start streaming, and then what you want to do is simply refresh the dashboard here, and it should say you are streaming, you're live, and there you go. You're now streaming to YouTube Gaming. And if we go to YouTube uh, Gaming, which is gaming.youtube.com, search for your channel name, go to your channel, and there you go, it should show your live stream like so, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. Um, I'm gonna also show you guys how to add a face cam, it's fairly easy. Um, so what I'm going to do is stop streaming right here, go to add um, video capture device, hit OK. Um, once this comes up, make sure you have your webcam plugged in. Um, we're going to pretty much do custom resolution and set this to P, so I'll just go with 1280p by 720p. We're going to make sure the audio input is disabled, we're going to hit OK. And now we're going to preview stream. So there you have our face cam, there I am. Uh, what you want to do is click edit scene so you can, you know, make this however you want it. And then you can just start streaming again. Um, and you should see your face cam and all that. So that's what we're going to try to do it, guys. Like the video if it helped. Subscribe if you're new. And until then, guys, I'll be back with a new video. Peace.